Well, that's a nice bird. When people talk about pigeon droppings, <laughs> they probably aren't thinking bombs. <laughs> but there was a point during World War II when these highly trainable animals were taught to drop artillery from the sky. Mystery Minute. Pigeon Pilot. In the 1940s, many people were looking for a way to keep U.S. pilots from having to go deep into enemy territory to drop bombs. A famous psychologist named B.F. Skinner thought birds could help, so he began training pigeons to eat seeds from screens showing video footage of battle zones. Their favorite seeds were put on the most important and difficult to reach targets, like ships in enemy waters. Next the birds were put into gliders specially designed by NIST. The gliders had see-through nose cones. As the birds pecked in search of their favorite food, each peck on the nose cone sent a signal to move the gliders' wings. Tests and simulators showed the birds had a high rate of accuracy. But these bird navigators were grounded when NIST became inspired by another flying friend, the bat. NIST designed a radio-based system that targeted ships using echolocation. But Project Pigeon was not a total loss. The conductive touchscreens were the 1.0 version of modern touchscreens. Today, NIST continues to take inspiration from nature in a variety of projects, from creating artificial dog noses for improved chemical sensing, to mimicking the microstructure of nature's toughest composites to create materials that can survive intense impacts. Curious what NIST research will turn up next? Find us at www.nist.gov.